tip number 79. Name every important node in your schematic even if it connects only two pins on the same page. And uh, this is a very good example. This is switching power supply. And here you can see the regulator, these are the transistors, here are the inductors and the capacitors. And when I zoom in, you can see we named these nets which are here. We named even this connection which is only between this and this pin. It's a very simple connection and you can see we put the net name here. When I was starting with hardware design, I used to do it this way. Uh, I never put net names on these kind of connections. And uh, I couldn't understand, you know, why in some schematics, why some people would put net name on this connection. I clearly see it's connected from this pin to this pin. So why I would like to name it? What do you think? Why? because it helps during layout so this is what we do okay we name the connections and then when you do layout you immediately see what kind of track you are routing some tracks are very important yeah like this one for example this feedback here yeah you can see we name the feedback because ideally you really don't want to route this track uh, through some places where it could pick up some noise or something because this is a very important track any noise on this track would influence or could influence the output voltage yeah ideally when you are routing this track you would like to make it short and maybe a little bit wider so if I don't put here this net name and the Altium or the other CAD system will call this net uh, net R123-1 then when I'm doing layout how I'm going to know that this net R123-1 is an important net? Okay, there are some techniques maybe you open the schematic and you open the layout and you know, you try to figure out which uh, nets uh, are what, which connections in the PCB are what connections in the schematic, but it's not necessary. The simple way to know that this net is very important, just put that the net label. Ta da! Yeah, and then when you go to PCB and when you start the uh, routing or drawing the connection from this pin you immediately see ah this is the feedback connection so i need to make it short and a little bit wider yeah same here different example this connection is very very important between this transistor and the inductor so we name it phase one three v three then in the pcb you immediately see yeah this is the important phase one three v three connection i need to make it big and wide you really don't want to route this connection with uh, this kind of track that would be big big mistake so you really really would like to know that you are routing this phase one three v three and as I explained, simple way to do it, just name all the important connections. And that's it. Name all the things like, even like interrupts or resets or clock signals, put names on these kind of signals. So when you are doing layout, you know that if you are routing interrupt, you would like to route it a little bit away from all the other tracks. Yeah, when you are routing reset, you would like to route it away. When you are routing clock, you would like to keep space between the clock and the other signal so there is no crosstalk. I'm pretty sure you understand. Tip number 79. 
name every important net in your schematic even if it connects only two pins on the same page. Why? During layout, you immediately know what net you are routing.